Hey guys, Old School Brian here. Uh, today's Monday, um, so this is the day I do all the games I've been playing the previous week. Um, I got a pretty good variety of games this past uh, week. Um, I don't anticipate it being this much of a variety in the upcoming weeks just because you got Modern Warfare 3 coming out. Um, I'm not really at the point to let, you know, put Black Ops down yet. I'm still enjoying it. Um, I got Battlefield, I've been neglecting that, and I really got to get around to doing a campaign on that. And then just the releases before that, Gears, uh, Dead Island, you know, all, all those games. Um, that You know, I, I got to complete them. I, I just, I've just been really neglecting them, to be honest. Alright, so this week we got, for the Genesis, Deadly Moves. It's uh it's it's a cool fighting game. Not not one of the better ones out there, but I do enjoy it. Um it's it's not very hard to play. It's kind of, you know, same as like the Street Fighter type games. Um but it's pretty cool. Let's play that a little bit. Uh Frogger, The Great Quest. Just a good game if you're into the whole Frogger series. Um, me, I'm a fan of it. I've been playing these, these, the Frogger games for a while. This one's pretty cool. You're running around in like a 3D world, um, solving puzzles, things like that. It's just stuff that I'm into like that. Uh, Sonic Spinball, I haven't played that in a while. Um, it just happened to be in a Genesis I picked up, so I was playing that for a little bit. It's one of my, uh... One of the better Sega, uh, better Sonic games in my opinion. Um, I do like it. My son likes it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Super Mario World, playing that. I had a family party. Everybody came over for my son's birthday party, so we were playing that a little bit. The kids like it. Um, playing that. Black Ops, of course. Been playing this. Uh, I could finally change the color of my um, clan tag, so I'm happy with that. Uh, it took so long to get there, um, so long to get to that that prestige. I think I'm 13th prestige now. Um, a lot of times I ne I didn't prestige over, so I could have done it a lot quicker. Um, I definitely wanted you know to accomplish that before Modern Warfare 3 came out. Um, I think I'm still going to go for 15th prestige and get my gold guns and everything. Um, so I'm going to be playing that for a while after Modern Warfare comes out, just to get that stuff, just you know for a sense of accomplishment in the game. All right, Brink. I'm playing this a little bit. I really neglected this game when it came out. I played it for the first couple weeks, hour here, hour there, um, and I really liked the game, even though the reviews on it uh, weren't very good. Um, I do like it, so I was playing that a little bit. I just, you know, feel like I didn't really give it the chance that it deserved, and um, you know, I'm trying to get somewhere in that. Battlefield, I played a little bit online this week, not much. Um, I, I, You know, I like the game, I just, I don't know, I've been neglecting it. Uh, I really got to run through the campaign, I've heard the campaign is awesome. I have not tried it, I really, you know, I really got to try it. I'm, I'm going to try to get to it this week, I'm going to try to get some of the campaign done this week. Um, so, I'll be on there sometime. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, just into, you know, I was in the mood skateboard and my son uh it's funny my son actually got a skateboard for his birthday so um you know it kind of just gave me the idea to play this i was kind of showing him you know this is the stuff you could do on your skateboard even though you know he's only six years old so he really can't um yet but um i was playing that a little bit showing him a little bit and then i got what do i got left i got a super nintendo game and a 64 game um, the 64 game, Legend of Zelda, I do throw this in from time to time. I do enjoy Zelda. If you watch my channel, you know it's one of my favorite series. Um, all the Zelda games I'm really into. They're awesome. So I was playing that a little bit for the 64. And in this game, I haven't really touched this game in a while. Um, it's it's an RPG. It's one of the best RPGs in my opinion. I'm, I really enjoy it. Um, and that's Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. I was playing this a little bit. It's you know it's it's not a game that I could play all the time because it gets a little frustrating because it is a challenging game. Um, but I do throw it in every once in a while and, and give it some decent amount of gameplay. Um, I got a Super Nintendo hooked up in my bedroom, so 
sometimes before bed, you know, I'll throw this in for a little bit and I'll play this, this, or Mario All-Star or something like that. Um, Flintstones. <laughs> I don't know. I could have said a joke about the Flintstones, but I won't even do that. Um, Super Nintendo. So, yeah, Chrono Trigger. So, that's my games of the week, guys. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, just keep a lookout for my new videos. I got an unboxing I'm going to do. It's right here. It's not uh, really video game related, but it's part of what I do as a collector. Um, I do collect other things, so I think you guys might enjoy it. Modern Warfare 3 unboxing this week. It's going to be epic. I cannot wait for this game to come out. I just really hope it lives up to the hype. I know that, you know, they're really going to have to do something to, uh, to, to, you know, stay on the same level as they've been on. And, you know, especially following Battlefield that just came out. They got some uh, big, sh big uh, shoes to fill, if you uh, will. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.